Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren and welcome to this year's Christmas decorating vlog. I am so, so excited to be staying in my apartment for Christmas. This is the first year. Please excuse the sirens outside. <laughs> this is actually going to be the first Christmas that I'm actually going to be like in my own space, which now it's mine and Will's space. So it's going to be really exciting. We have friends and family coming to visit us for Christmas. And I definitely wanted to go all out for Christmas this year. And I obviously wanted to bring y'all along. Not only is it so magical just being here in New York for Christmas, but being able to just like come into your New York City apartment and have it decorated for Christmas is just going to be so, so fun. I know this is kind of early for a few of you, but the reason why I am decorating so early is because now you can watch this and get motivated and excited for Christmas whenever you decide to decorate for Christmas. My theme for this year is like pink candy gingerbread wonderland theme. I don't really know how to explain it. I'm hoping that everything like kind of comes together whenever we start decorating. I also did a full unboxing on my TikTok so if you want to see a full haul of everything that I got you can definitely click that. I will be linking as many things as I can down below but a few of these items I did get at TJ Maxx and HomeGoods so those obviously are things that I can't really tell. First things first, before we can do anything, is we have to run out to Bryant Park today. I want to get some hot chocolate to get into the festive Christmas spirit, and I also want to get a little custom, like, New York City ornament. I don't know what few of y'all were DMing me, but after we filmed our ice skating and Rockefeller Center vlog, and I showed you some of the ornaments at Bryant Park, y'all were saying that Will and I needed to get some ornaments to, like, document our first apartment, our first Christmas in New York together, and I definitely agree. So we need to go ahead and get dressed out of our pajamas and get into something warm and twisty and head out to Bryant Park. We are on the way to get hot chocolate and our first ornament living together in New York. What do you think the ornament's going to be? Like... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but they have lots of options in Bryant Park so that's where we're going. We're almost there. made it to Bryant Park. Now it's just to find some hot chocolate and a Christmas ornament. We came here in my last vlog and it was at night so we didn't get to see everything, but I do remember one place being a really cute ornament place. So now I'm just on the hunt for it. It was big. It was a big place. And they had hot chocolate there. Park. It is such a chilly day. I think it's like 41 degrees outside right now, but the wind wasn't too bad. So we were pretty toasty walking there and walking back. Went ahead and changed back into my Christmas pajamas. I'm going to go ahead and find either the link exactly for these or something similar. My blog post this week is going to be all about my favorite Christmas pajamas. If I could, I would wear every single one of these pajamas for Christmas. I absolutely have loved making blog posts about fashion lately. Like I feel like my blog is definitely leaning more towards like fashion posts and things, trending styles and things like that. Put back on my little pink Christmas Santa pajamas, but I wanted to show you the ornaments we got at the shop. So they have these shops at Bryant Park where they have ice skating and hot chocolate, apple cider, donuts, like sweets. It's so amazing. So if you're traveling here for Christmas, definitely be sure to check out Bryant Park because it's just so cute. We could not find the original place. We originally saw the like custom ornaments, but this is the first one we got. My idea is with my small tree that I got is going 
to be kind of just like fun little ornaments like this because we have a lot from friends and family and we also wanted to like kind of have ornaments for every year of like milestones or just like to remember like this stage in our life so this is the first one it's a little statue of liberty these were very expensive i think my total for everything was almost 70 dollars um but it had free customization but i just loved this just like an overall new york city ornament then we got this one so I had it customized to say LN and Will. And this is just kind of like symbols like our first, you know, Christmas in New York. I think this is so cute. They had a lot of different options to choose from for couples that wasn't just like she said yes or like our first time in New York. So it was really nice to have different options. And then I saw this one and I think this one is my favorite out of all of them. She's just so cute. So it's like a little front door decorated for Christmas and I got it customized to say our first apartment. I love this so much. I think that it's so special that we are spending like our first Christmas together in our first apartment and this is like our first apartment ever together. So I obviously wanted to remember it and have a cute little ornament. So those were the three ornaments that we got. And then we also got some hot chocolate and we are about to be starting off with the tree because it is football Sunday for Will. So Will wants to obviously watch football. I was like, look, you can watch football. I just need your help like trying to build this tree. Trees have never been my like best thing I can do. So let's go ahead, put up the tree and then start decorating the apartment for Christmas. We are out in the living room where most of the things are going to be put and the Christmas tree is going to go, I'm hoping, an L is gonna be the tree topper. We do right foot today. We do right foot before. Are you excited? Santa Claus is coming to town. Okay. Let's do this thing. It is loft. As you can tell, it is getting really, really bright in here. That's because the sun is starting to set. So it is reflecting off of this building right here behind me. So we're going to go ahead and decorate with the ornaments. These are the ornaments I'm going to start with. They are these like pink pearl clear ornaments. I went ahead and put the bow on top of the tree. I think it looks really, really cute. And I also put some flowers, like little white point poinsettias on the tree too. So we're going to see if we need to grab any more ornaments. I'm hoping not, but one of the ornaments that I bought, they're like really itty bitty. So I may need to go out and get a couple more from Target. We will know in just a few minutes, but let's go ahead and finish decorating the tree.
cute. And honestly, I think this is my favorite Christmas tree that I have ever decorated before. I think that the pearls and the bows really made a difference. Willow's on the phone right now. But she is the moment. She is so cute. I also really uh, like the metal base too. Sometimes the tree skirt looks kind of like not put together to me. Or at least the way that I used to do it. This looks so cute. I also think this is the tallest Christmas tree I've ever had, like ever in my entire life. And I just feel like Cindy Lou Who. Next is the little Christmas Santa Wheat Village right here. I'm going to like fill this with fake snow and like with my little candy houses and hopefully it's going to look really, really cute. like batteries and command strips. We are almost there. Like the living room is almost completely finished and I think it looks really, really good. Um, but we have to make like a little stop, a pit stop. It is 5.30 and it's completely dark outside. So I got nervous, so Will's coming with me to Target. Yay! Back from Target, completely forgot to vlog anything in there. We were like in our full like puffer coats and everything. So I guess I was just like trying to juggle everything where I completely forgot to vlog. But I do have a little haul for you. How rude. This does not go with the aesthetic. Okay, fix it. But I'm going to give you a little haul of the things that I did get while I was there. The main thing I went for were these command hooks because I want to be hanging our stockings and also like a little wreath. I don't know where I'm going to be hanging this wreath. We already have a wreath on our front door outside and I didn't want it to be like Christmas. I bought a wreath that we could just use like all year round. That's what I did with my last apartment. So I got these little command hooks at Target. Another big thing that I've already opened are these batteries and I needed it for my little townhomes behind me. But one of the little homes is broken. So I think I'm going to return it or like try and get it like a replacement scent But they like light up now, which is so cute I also got a candle because I realized that the only candle I had were like these like tree candles from TG Maxx And I wanted this one. This smells just like a Christmas tree and since we don't have a real Christmas tree I wanted to still smell the Christmas spirit. So this is a holiday spruce and it was $10 Oh my goodness, and it smells just like the Bath and Body Works one that is like double this price so got this one. Also, I didn't get it on camera, but one of my little glass nutcrackers broke rude. It was on the corner of this thing. I should have known. I thought that Elle would have knocked it over, but no, it was me. I'm, I'm the problem. So Target has these. They were $3. I had the smaller one and I decided I really didn't like the small one. You really can't even tell what it is. I got two big ones just to figure out like where I wanted to put them in the apartment. I also got two new stockings while I was out because I got stockings from Amazon, but they look really cheap and they look like socks. Like they do not look like actual like Christmas stockings. So I got these little stockings and I ordered ordered name tags for them on Etsy, but it hasn't come in in time for this video, obviously, but I got like little mirror plates that say Will and then Lauren. So I'm going to be hanging these up to tonight. This is not Christmas related, but I got some sleepy time extra tea. I love drinking tea at night is like one of my, one of my favorite parts of my nighttime routine is drinking tea. And I love, love, love this one. I have been drinking this since high school. I always have issues falling asleep, but I feel like when I drink this, it helps me just like relax, take some self care. And this y'all are going to be like Lauren what it's a shot ski do y'all remember when I was here in New York City the only time I've ever done a shot ski it was last year for my birthday in New York City with my friend Maddie and we went to like some restaurant and they had a shot ski y'all this was five dollars and it comes with glass 
shot glasses hello so since we're hosting christmas here i'm like i can make some cute like mixed shots i think i'm going to like paint this pink and with my cricut i'm going to like design something on it like on the shot glasses and make it like festive and like when not like christmasy but like wintery just winter things that was a haul from target before i go any further i want to hang my little mistletoe this is something i have never had in an apartment before or like with christmas decorations i've never had a mistletoe and i've always wanted a mistletoe but of course i'm going to be adding like a little pink ribbon to it it came with like a piece of twine and it really just wasn't my vibe also will is really impressed with the christmas tree he was like you have a talent this should be a business of yours i was like um maybe not <laughs> dealing and fluffing that christmas tree it's like my least favorite part about christmas i'm just tying the little bow and that's how i put all of the bows on the tree is i literally just tied the bow myself a lot of people um when i was looking it up online like christmas ideas online they would make the bow before they put it on the tree i don't really like that i'd rather just like get it right on the tree first but fun fact when i was in high school i was in a show that was like set in the like a theatrical performance that was set in the 50s and we had these like prom dresses we wore and it had to have like the perfect bow like the most perfect bow so i learned how to make like a really cute little bow at that point in my life and ever since it's really just been one of my like life skills i don't know if this will ever come in clutch if it will really matter but i do pride myself in my bows but we have a little mistletoe and we're going to finish decorating i have a few things left i have some pillows for the couch i have another little small tree that we're going to be putting the new york city ornaments on in our bedroom and i have like a couple other random kind of like like bigger like decor pieces that I'm not too sure where I'm putting yet but we're just going to be figuring it out so let's keep going even though the sun is down we're just going to have a cozy night in I'm going to make some hot chocolate later I mean hello do y'all get annoyed with ads too you can be honest like I'm here to support but like I need my you log you will tie log <laughs> We have made it 
to the end of the video and I want y'all to let me know what part of the apartment is your favorite. I was kind of tempted not to do anything with the bathroom, but I think that the little like garland tree looking thing on top of everything looks really, really good and it feels so, so cozy in here. One thing that I love about Christmas is how cozy and like just warm everything feels. Just like having the fireplace going and having like the Christmas tree light in here is just so relaxing and I just can't wait to just be snuggling up all Christmas long and enjoying all of this fun little decor in our first apartment. I think my favorite part of the apartment that is done is just like the living room. Like I just love our living room space in general, but I definitely love it with the beautiful Christmas tree in the back. It is now super late. It is 11 p.m. It takes a lot longer to decorate when you're like trying to film certain angles and things like that. So we are ready to head off to bed. I'm about to be doing a little face mask, doing a little self-care night, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait for so many more Christmas videos and Christmas vibes to be coming onto the channel very very soon if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you want to join the family you can click that subscribe button also i love you guys so much and i'll be seeing you in my next video bye